Hi friends, welcome to the video lectures on Technical C by Shravan Kumar Mantri. Now we'll see the questions. So the first question, printing the digits and count of a number. So let us take an example. I'll take a number like where n is equals to 523. If I take what are the digits in this, so I can say that it is 5, 2 and 3 or else 3, 2, comma and 5. So like this also I can say, so I want to print those digits. How to print those digits? So here what is my logic is, whenever I want to, let us suppose I want to print from the right side. So how to get the digits 3 here? So how to get a digit 3 or else how to get the digit which is in one's position of any number? That means when you divide a number with 10, what will be the remainder? Let us suppose 523 if I divide with 10, what will be the remainder? I can see that, say that 3. I'm talking about remainder. I'm not talking about quotient. I'm talking only about remainder. So even if you take any number, if I take 28, 28 percentile 10, what is the answer? 8. That means when you divide any number with 10, the remainder will be your last digit. So I'll get that digit. So I'll print that digit. So that I'll get the ones position. How to get the tens position digit and hundreds position digit like this? So that means what I need to do is, anyway, first n value is 523. Then I'm getting the digit as 3. If I divide with 10, the remainder is 3. Now, if I have the number, the remaining other than 3, that means 52. If I divide again with 10, what will be the remainder? Again, I'll get the next, that is on the last, last digit, which is 2. So that means how 523 I can convert it into 552. How to convert? Let us suppose if n is 5, 523. So 523 by 10, that means if I divide by 10, divide with 10, what will be the quotient? Of course it is integer. I'm not talking about floating point. I'm talking about integer. So 523, if I divide with 10, the answer will be 52. You will get these digits. So that means our conclusion is if I divide with 10, the remainder will be the last digit and the quotient will be the remaining digits other than last digit. So this logic I want to use and I want to print each digit in a in each iteration. So I'll write the code first and I'll check it out. Anyway, the this code block compiler by default it takes the header files that are hash include stdio.h. So no need to write, it's optional. So that's why I'm skipping that. So I'll take a number n and I want to give it as input that is by scanf percent d comma and percent n. Now after giving a number what we require first. So I want to divide with 10 and I want to get the remainder. So that's why n percent 10. I want to store this number in a particular variable which is equals to r. That means r equals to which is a remainder when I divide with 10. So I'll keep like this and then I want to print that digit. So I'll keep some slash in here. Percent LD comma R. So after getting a remainder, now I want to take the quotient part and I want to update it with n only. So that's why I'll take n is equals to n by 10. So n is equals to n by 10. So that means our n value will be updated. I explain now 523. I get the remainder as 3. I'll print it and after that 523 by 10 which is 52. Now n value is 52. Now I want to do the same iteration process. That means 52 percent L10. So how to make the same iteration process? That means I need to use a one loop. Here I'll use while loop. While this process has to be repeated when it has to be stopped. That means 52 percent L10 I'll get 2. So then 52 by 10 it will become 5. Next 5 percent L10 5. So 5 by 10 0. That means until 0 you have to do. That means while n is not equals to 0 you have to apply this process so that's why this while loop will be closed here now if you want you can observe you can trace it 
what happens how it will be printed 523 is non zero yes 523 percentile 10 which is 3 you will, you will print that 3 next 523 by 10 which is 52 now n value is 52 is 52 non zero yes 52 percentile 10 2 r equals 2 will be printed next n value 52 by 10 5 so now 5 is non zero yes true 5 percentile 10 see 5 percentile 10 is 5 only it's like when you want to divide a new when you want to divide a numerator with denominator if numerator is less than the denominator the remainder is numerator itself let us suppose if i say 9 percentile 10 9 only the answer 11 percentile 15 11 only the answer like this so if numerator is less than the denominator numerator it will itself is the direct remainder so like this so that's why here 5 percentile 10 is 5 only then 5 printed and what is 5 by 10 0 only so it won't go it, 10 into 1 is 10 so that's why 10 into 0 0 that's why 5 by 10 which is 0 so n value is 0 then it comes out of the while loop and it ends so now we'll see what are the other variables to be declared here r is to be declared that's it so now if we execute this one we'll see the output So I'll take a number, let us suppose 2578. So the digits are 2578. Anyway, it will print in reverse. That is first in one's position, 8, next 7, next 5, next 2. Like this, it will be printed. Now coming to the seventh question. Largest and smallest digit in a number. So let us suppose if I give a number 5872. What is the largest digit in this? 8 has to be printed how to print that one let us suppose if i want to print the smallest digit what is the smallest digit 2 has to be printed how to do this one so that we'll see now of course how to do this one if this also very simple i'll make some modification now here you can say a number has to be taken r has to be taken let us suppose i'll take one more variable something like s where s is initialized with what so s is initialized with if you want to find the largest digit s should be initialized with smallest digit what is the smallest digit which is zero if you want to get the smallest num digit you have to initialize s with largest digit what is the largest digit nine so i'm talking about digits only so first i'll go for largest digit finding so that's why s is initialized with smallest digit that is zero now what I need to check after getting a remainder I'll check if your remainder is greater than s then what you need to do your s, uh, s value to be updated with r so like this that's it we have to do and finally what is s value to be printed so this is the program where you can find the largest that means let us suppose if I take 583 first it will take s value as 0 now the re first remainder is 3 is that 3 is greater than 0 yes s value will be 3 next 8 is that 8 is greater than s value is 3 no 8 is greater than 3 yes true so s will be 8 next digit is 5 is that 5 is greater than 8 no so that's why s is that's why s is as it is so finally what is s value which is the largest digit that will be printed you can see the output now so let us suppose if I take a number 4762 of course the largest digit is 7 so 7 is printed so like this we need to do now what about smallest digit to be printed so how to do smallest digit so one two simple modifications one is instead of smallest value digit to be assigned s value will be assigned with the largest digit what is the largest digit nine nine has to be assigned now instead of r greater than s what you need to do r less than s has to be done that means your input digit is less than nine then r will be s 
so like this you need to do and of course what is the final s value will be your smallest digit so i'll take a number so 48264 the smallest digit is 2 so you can see the output which is 2 so like this we need to connect one program to the another program so that we can remember the logics very easily so we'll see these questions in the next video lecture thank you